What is going on guys and girls welcome back to precipice now the game has received several minor updates over the last well ever since it's released I guess and uh, one of them was um, more significant than the others because it changed one of the core mechanics of the game the escalation mechanic so basically what determines how the AI re reacts when you challenge their actions or how they challenge your actions how they react to your actions if you destabilize a country if you invade a country and so on and so forth and uh, basically it changed the system a, a little bit that no matter who who wins an escalation if you escalate a uh, conflict uh, beyond a certain point both nations will lose loyalty with with their allies anyways because you know they're risking war and i think that's a really good change but uh, in addition to that it changed the ai behavior a little bit and um, so that they won't blow you up all the time right so um as you can see in my history here i've been i've been blown up four times um and that relatively quickly i think the farthest i've gotten was like turn five out of 50 so i still had a very long way to go and reason the, the reason was that oftentimes the ai would do something they shouldn't they should absolutely not be able to do for example uh, the ussr attacked or invaded mexico uh, and and that's something that obviously i mean we can't let that happen as the us and so i would i would challenge them and they would just blow me up over it and that's kind of difficult because you know if you think about it in real life if the USSR had invaded Mexico, like, no, that's a, that's a direct land route to the US. You wouldn't, you wouldn't allow that. Like, under no circumstances would that happen, right? So anyway, that's just as an aside. By the way, someone mentioned the, the first video I did, like my, my, uh, my chief's choice video. Uh, someone mentioned that there are arrows down here that show different... Um, yeah, different starting scenarios, different maps. So we see the American hell here, where basically the US is the last non-communist nation in the world. That's kind of fun, but that's that would be too difficult to do right now. And then uh, there is Land Rush, which is actually kind of interesting as well, because here you get to choose your allies uh, personally in a in a in a draft uh, sort of thing. I love that. That's that's kind of cool. But I know that at this point I would basically just pick NATO nations anyways. So I'm just gonna go with the uh, historical run here so yeah without further ado let's get back into the game and this time I'm actually gonna play is the Yorsin Soviet Socialist Republics just because we played the US so so many times so I'm gonna go with the bears the Soviet bear okay now we get to choose our perks again and there's one really cool perk here uh, well I, I guess I'll just gonna have to read them all out Afghanistan is improved Argentina Bulgaria China, uh, that could be useful, and maybe Cuba, I could see that, um, Finland, Iran, North Korea, Poland, Saudi Arabia, okay, now this is cool, so US agents cannot deploy agents into the Gulf states, I think that's really, really, really useful, so we're going to definitely go with that. Um, not sure about Mali or Congo, Ecuador, Thailand. I, th those are actually really good because you immediately stop them from like like I know they have no they can have no activity there. That seems pretty good. Maybe I just want to stop them outright, but that's gonna make it more difficult to defend the other nations, I guess. Well, I think we're gonna go with this. We have um, we're gonna be protecting China and Cuba. I think that's fine. And uh, no gold states for the U.S. Good. So in the loading screen, the music was very loud again. Now it seems to have fixed itself. Let me quickly check the settings, though. Yeah, okay. So that that has been fixed. I like that because uh, that was that was changing wildly before. Anyway, so we are yeah right. We're the USSR now, so we've got the Warsaw Pact on our side which is East Germany, uh, Poland, uh, Czechoslovakia, and I guess Bulgaria, right? That's Bulgaria. Yeah, and Yugoslavia. And then the Arab League, we are actually really good as well. The Gulf states are blocked. Now, I think these are the Gulf states. Saudi Arabia, uh, Yemen, and Oman. Uh, I assume. Is Iran... Is Iraq part of the Gulf states? Iran? 
I don't know. I actually, because this is the Persian Gulf, right? Hmm. Uh, I guess we'll find out. But, okay, so how are we going to start this off? We are getting no food. So we got to get some food. Let me see. Um, no, 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 no. Don't end the turn. Hold on. Who provides food? No, that's demand. Food supply. Who has food? India has food. I think we should be trading with India, Mexico, or Turkey. But I think India might be the better... Yeah, you are actually loyal to us. So yeah, India, I want a trade agreement. If that's possible. We need... They need... Uh, raw materials. Okay, which we could provide. We need food. Okay, of course, my friend. But that's... That's not a trade agreement yet. Um, okay. What about Mexico? Would they trade with us? No. So I think... I'm gonna... Yeah, my best bet probably is... Uh, India at this point, right? Israel and Chile has food as well. That did not go too well. What do you have? You provide no food. Okay, Brazil? We can only invade. Hmm. Alright. Come on. Okay, can we get a trade agreement? What do I need to get a trade agreement with you guys? Okay. Um, I'm confused. We can station troops. Hmm. I guess we'll go for the last diplomacy here. Okay. And I'm going to be ending my turn. Uh, I'm unsure if everything worked out, The if that was useful, what I just did, but oh well. Okay, so the US is investing and increasing stability. It's defending Canada and deployed a spy. The United States has formed a defense pact with Canada and stationed a large quantity of troops there. How do you wish to respond? I think we're going to ignore that because... You know, that's basically fine. But interesting that that's a possibility. Okay, so let's first... We are getting some food. Where are we getting food from now? Wait a minute. Oh, okay, so India does give a... I see. Okay, okay, okay. So we've improved relations enough so they will provide us with food. Good. Okay, that seems decent. So what do I do? Do I... We can go for a trade agreement now, right? Ah, okay. So that's interesting. Okay, we'll see how that develops. Okay. Interesting. I'm... Yeah, I'm unsure... What exactly I did. So I think we got... Yeah, we got the resources because they became uh, loyal. Like, super loyal. And, uh... Yeah, that was useful. Okay, now you guys, I'm going to give some foreign aid to, um, just to stabilize you. What? That was not enough. Okay, we'll try and stabilize you once more, but if that doesn't work, then I'll I'll leave it. Okay, good. So you you've been stabilized, good. And then I think we're going to. Mm hmm. We gotta probably stabilize you as well. There's a lot of nations that need to be stabilized. Provide some foreign aid here. Good. And then I will need to station troops somewhere too. I think I'm going to be stationing troops. Ah, I could station troops in Cuba. That's pretty insane. I don't think I'm going to be doing that right now. Um, Korea is a possibility. Mm, I wonder if I could station troops here. No. Vietnam, not quite. Where would I want to station troops? Or do I just want to deploy a spy for now? I think maybe a spy in Brazil will be quite useful. 
I oh I need two points for this. Okay. Well, in that case, let's uh, instead provide some foreign aid here in Vietnam. Help these countries out. Very good. Okay, we'll be ending this turn. Haven't deployed a spy yet. We'll be doing that. Okay, trying to uh, trade agreements. They invaded uh, Central America. We're going to be protesting because they invaded a country. So they issue that they march with a manufactured justification. Um, okay, and I think... With that, we're going to be backing. Well, they invaded a country. So we're going to present the case to the United States and nations, but not further than that. Okay, we're going to be backing down now. Okay. Uh, just because it's not too important to us. Okay, next. Um, what are we going to do? So, we're not getting extra food. Um, that trade agreement didn't really do anything, I feel like. Um, ah, these guys are providing food. I see. We could invade them too. Hold on. Three. Let's send four armies. Um, and we'll station troops here in Cuba. And We lost, oh, we lost loyalty with you, with Mali, and Bulgaria. Okay, but I don't have any more things I can do. Okay, a world event. OPEC embargo. An oil embargo on Israel and its allies. Okay. The United States loses loyalty of Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, and Venezuela. The United States gains loyalty of Israel. Okay, so demand for oil. That's interesting. Then, yeah, US has signed a trade deal with Mexico and they have failed to invade Central America. Okay, we'll end the turn. And the United States has a formal denouncement. We'll justify it. And the United States has brought the, sur the troop surge in Cuba to the United Nations and has tabled a resolution demanding that you return. We'll maintain deployment. And they have withdrawn the issue. Very good. Okay, so... Um, okay, Greenland has a coup. Okay, and we can escalate the war. I don't think we will. I think this should be fine. And... Um, okay... What else do we need? We have the majority with the Arab League. And we have a united front with the Warsaw Pact. Still. Okay, that's good. Arab League, we should invest in that. Mm, let's... Let's see what we can do here. I wanted to deploy an agent. Let's deploy an agent here first. Okay. Uh, we can go for a coup. Maybe a coup in these nations would be useful. Let's deploy an agent here. And... Uh, fund an insurrection. Okay, that seemed to have been successful. So there's anarchy here. But I don't have any more movement points. Okay, so we'll see what happens. Or more action points. Good. Troops in West Germany. 
and they have destabilized East Germany. Troops in Israel. Okay. Uh, they have formed a defense pact with West Germany. That shall be ignored. Um, the United States is supporting rebellion in the sovereign nation of East Germany. Uh, we will protest. Well, we'll present that case. Yeah, okay. So they have reversed their action. Very good. And defense pact with Israel will ignore. And they have invaded India. We will definitely protest. And threaten military intervention. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, so... But we have an issue that... Well, first of all, we can go for a coup here. We shall. We get... A lot of bonuses, as you can see, because we have surrounding nations. So, uh, Sudan will be ours. Good. And we'll give some foreign aid. Actually, that was pretty expensive. We need to give foreign aid to India. Very good. Station troops here. And... We'll... Oh, we can't do anything else. Okay, so we've taken Mali... Um, but that was, yeah, that was very expensive, so we'll have to see. Um, India, available export, allegiance. Do we have, do we have a trade agreement? I'm kind of uncertain. But alright, India is very crucial to us. So, how's this war going? Okay, we've, we're almost done with Central America, then we'll have more food. Okay, Israel have improved. There's a spy. Okay, I gotta say, so far, I'm, be I'm loving this a lot more. It seems a lot better. And also, we are having quite some unrest from the war we're fighting. So, this should be over quickly. But, um, yeah, so we've got troops here. Then, what else to do? I think we're gonna go and queue this. We could go for another insurrection. 60% chance. Ah, didn't go too well. Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna go with the coup then. Or are we gonna wait? I think we might wait. And instead, we'll get some foreign aid here in Sudan, which is not enough. Alright, good. And... Yeah, I think we might be stationing troops here in East Germany. That's important. And I think maybe North Korea would be a possibility as well. Station some troops here. Oh, we can't. Interestingly. Then... Um, can't do anything here. Yeah. Well, what, what else to do? Do we... Oh, Pakistan has food, as do you. I don't have any more action points. Okay, never mind. Let's just move on. Another world event, the Unify. Both Germany and Korea are nations that have been divided by the machinations of this Cold War. Surely if one superpower could unite both, the long-divided East and West Germany, as well as end the tenuous armistice between North and South Korea by placing all four nations under a single sphere of influence, that superpower would be the dominant cultural and political force on the planet. Interesting. I love that. I love that this is a possibility. Um, but yeah, that seems kind of impossible. Definitely Germany seems impossible with troops stationed there. Um, but okay. Trade deal with Norway. I don't know how they keep signing trade deals. I'm not able to do that really. But anyways, we'll be ending the turn here.